Why are some Colorado cities paying businesses to open? Here we go. You might reasonably think that when fees and taxes are paid to a city government, that money is going to pay for city services. Not necessarily so. In some Colorado cities, fees paid by privileged businesses and sales taxes paid by you actually get rebated back to the business for a certain period of time, and the business actually keeps that money. For example, Thornton recently gave a 50% rebate of sales and property taxes for 10 years to a company called Topgolf. Last year, Westminster gave a 100% rebate of sales and use taxes for three years to an Alamo Drafthouse theater. This is where capitalism gets twisted into cronyism, with planners and politicians picking economic winners and losers by granting special privileges in the form of these rebates while everyone else pays full freight. Sweetheart deals like this also almost certainly violate the Colorado Constitution, which specifically bans giving away public dollars to private corporations. Look, if you have to give corporate welfare away to get companies to open in your town, you might consider just lowering those fees and taxes across the board and level that playing field.